So guys, Tenobo is not going to be the only one to lose at the tribunal. I want to tell you guys that Dave Omaye is about to lose his position as the godfather in a bonny state. The person he chose to replace him honestly is about to be disqualified. You can imagine the desperation among our politicians. Honestly, honestly, they want their influence to stay intact even after leaving office. But that is about to end in a bony state as it is now discovered that the governor is not even qualified to have participated in this election. Just take a look at this. The Abony State Governorship Election Petition Tribunal sitting in Abuja on Friday reserved its judgment on petitions seeking to nullify the outcome of the gubernatorial poll held in the state on March 18, 2023. The petitions were brought before the tribunal by the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and its candidate, Chief Ifai Odi, as well as by the All Progressives Grand Alliance, APGA, and its candidate, Professor Bernard Odo. The petitioners are praying the court to void the declaration of Governor Francis Mufuru of the All Progressives Congress, APC, as the winner of the gubernatorial contest. Justice A.I. Ogumoe led a three-member panel adjourned to deliver judgment on the petitions after all the parties, through their team of lawyers, adopted their final briefs of argument. While adopting their process, PDP and its candidate, Odi, through their team of lawyers led by Chief Chris Uche SAN, maintained that Governor Mwifuru did not secure the majority of lawful votes cast during the election. The petitioners told the tribunal that Mwifuru's election victory was characterized by corrupt practices alleging substantial non-compliance with provisions of the Electoral Act 2022. Besides, they argued that Mwifuru did not validly resign from the PDP before being nominated as the APC's governorship candidate. And one thing that is very, very fundamental is that they claimed that uh, the man, that he resigned from PDP. And they tendered a document which they called the letter of resignation, which was admitted in evidence. But now, you can see, as we demonstrated, that letter of resignation, which was completely an afterthought, was not signed. And we know that an unsigned document is a worthless piece of paper. According to the petitioners, Mwifuru, being a PDP member, at all material times before the governorship poll, was not eligible under Section 177C of the 1999 Constitution as amended to have been sponsored by the APC to contest as its flag bearer. They told the tribunal that before the governorship contest, Mwifuru, elected into the Abonyi State House of Assembly, served as speaker while on the ticket of the PDP until May 2023. Consequently, PDP and its candidate in their joint petition prayed the tribunal to declare that they were the valid winners of the governorship election. They prayed the court to withdraw the certificate of return issued to Governor Mwifuru by the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. The petitioners also cited a subsisting judgment of a high court in Ebony State, delivered by Justice Harry Njoko, which they said held that Mwifuru and other lawmakers in the state that purportedly defected to the APC were still members of the PDP. He assumed the office of Speaker of House of Assembly on the platform and ticket of PDP. Then if he claimed that he had left uh, PDP, he should have left PDP's property because the basis upon which he got into the house was on that platform. So, but he still retained the seat, contested the election when he was not sponsored by PDP. And that runs against the provision of Section 1773 of the Constitution, which has been put in place along with Section 109 preventing such constipation in order to checkmate political prostitution, which has done so much to destroy the development of our constitutional democracy in this country. So that is why this case is very, very important, and that's why we had to make all these points before the Yes. On their part, APGA and its candidate, Odo, prayed the tribunal to nullify the election and order a fresh one. While adopting their final written address, the petitioners, through their team of lawyers led by Jibrino Kutepa, SAN, argued that Governor Mwifuru was not qualified to contest the gubernatorial poll, insisting that he did not validly resign his PDP membership. The petitioners averred that a second respondent was until and after the election a member of the Abony State House of Assembly and also occupied the office of the Speaker of the said House under the platform of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. 
he was not qualified to contest the election to the seat of governor of Ebony State conducted by the first respondent on the 18th of March 2023, wherein the second respondent was wrongfully returned elected. Firstly, it is a settled position of law and firmly rooted in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria that a person aspiring to contest the election for the office of governor in a Nigerian state must fulfill the dual prerequisites of political party membership and sponsorship. This provision is unequivocally captured in Section 177C of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended, where it is provided as follows. A person shall be qualified for the election to the office of governor of a state if c he is a member of a political party and is sponsored by that political party on the whole it is submitted that the petitioners have made out a case for the relief seeking the order of the honorable tribunal for a fresh election excluding the second respondent whom a valid claim has been made out for his disqualification the relief for a fresh election is predicated on the fact that upon the disqualification of the second respondent, none of the remaining candidates would have satisfied the constitutional requirement of being declared governor of Ebony State, having regard to the results declared in Exhibit P1 and P8, Section 179, Subsection 2 of the 1999 Constitution as amended. The petitioner's case is that the second respondent who was returned by the first respondent, INEC, was not qualified to have contested the election at the time he did. And the reason which we have advanced, which was not in fact denied by the other side, is that the second respondent who was elected into the Bono State House of Assembly in 2019, the People's Democratic Party, and from where he became the speaker, never resigned his position as a member or speaker of the Bono State House of Assembly throughout the period between 2019, when he assumed that position, to 2023, when he was sworn in. And having been elected into the seat on the platform of the People's Democratic Party, it was impossible for him to have been sponsored by the All Progressive Congress without first resigning and vacating his office. If, on the other hand, he is purported to have resigned, then he ought to have vacated his seat. He never did. So for all intents and purposes, he remained a member of the PDP. And to that extent, he could not have been sponsored by the APC. This is the summary of our case. And his non-living of the Bowling State House of Assembly as a member was never denied, either in their pleadings or in evidence before the Honorable Tribunal. Thank you very much. John Matthews, my name. Meanwhile, Governor Wavron, through his team of lawyers led by Dr. Onyechi Ibazu, SAN, urged the tribunal to dismiss all the petitions. He insisted that he was validly elected, adding that the judgment that declared him as a member of the PDP had since been voided. Governor Wifuru argued that he duly resigned from the PDP and joined the APC in compliance with the provisions of the law. Thank you very much. We are more or, more or less at the last lap of this petition. So how optimistic are you awaiting for judgment? Let's have look at the camera. As, as, as counsel, who has been in the matter, we are optimistic. Because this matter for us is uh, it's not that complicated. It just uh, rests on issue of qualification. They are saying that uh, the governor was not uh, qualified at the time he stood for the election. And that's just the simple issue before the court. And we raised issues of issue whether the court had relation or not to even at the table what they are saying. So we are expecting that uh, judgment will come and justice will be served. Likewise, the APC, through its lawyer, A.A. Ibrahim S.A.N., urged the tribunal to dismiss the petitions for want of merit, adding that the petitioners failed to prove their case beyond reasonable doubt. Uh, as well as the APC, the APC produced the present government. He was a member and he was sponsored by it. it is, we are saying that it is not right in the amount to try to excuse the government. Who are the people who are this person? The constitution does not talk about this this position. And that if he was a speaker and never vacated his position as speaker, he was elected by his colleagues, not elected because he was a, a, a PDP member. So that is our simple uh, uh, position. 
and they said it is uh, the receipt was for two funny receipts. They can't tell us uh, that our own membership cards are not available. That is our simple position. After it had listened to all the arguments, the tribunal said it will communicate the date for judgment to the parties. So guys, you have seen it for yourself that our politicians are so desperate and they are ready to, you know, go to any length to get into power. Most of them get there even to worsen the situation they met on ground. That is why Nigeria is not progressing. We are the giant of Africa, but we are yet to show it to the world. We are yet to showcase it for people to see. And that is why we keep asking Nigerians to always vote people who are competent. Let it be that the time for vote buying is a bygone in Nigeria. Let us all stand up to make sure that Nigeria work again. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.